Boom. Do me a solid and let me 100% this level. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 3 of Crash Bandicoot Warped, part of the Insane Trilogy, and we got the double jump, and now we get to go to this Asian world, and take on level 11, known as Dynamite. Get it? It's a pun? A lot of this game is puns. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Tropy, master of time and the creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals, I swear it! It's funny, get it? His name is Dr. Nefarious Tropy, aka Entropy. And then there's N Jin, N Cortex, like, like N Cortex, like Neo Cortex. It's just, it's such a funny play on word. We got 12 gem or 12 gems, 112 boxes here. I don't think we can actually 100% this level. Also, there's these weird Crash Bandicoot seal things. I guess they're what Crash Bandicoot was in prehistoric times, maybe. I don't know. Goodbye. What the heck was that? I don't even know what that was, man. The game was just like, how about no? I don't trust you anymore. Oh wait, I got the double jump, duh. Oh yeah, these guys. The wet soldiers. Oh yeah, we need the uh, green gem it looks like for here. Man, my timing with these enemies today is just terrible. Get out of my way, Crash Bandicoot wannabe. Oh yeah, this little guy. This guy's kind of cool. So, you attack it, and you get a Yoshi wannabe. Which, all he does, he doesn't actually have like any powers. He just jumps higher than your double jump. So, essentially, he just makes platforming this area easy. And I think you only have him in this level in the entire game. You can also go through grass without being slowed down. Also, looks like we got Nitro Crates, so that's a thing. Uh, more wetsuit guys. Did I call them wet soldiers? I meant wet suits. I don't know what I was going on about earlier. I think I said wet soldier, right? I don't even know. Adios. Steam vents. And then sadly you're going to lose them here. We only have 31 out of 112 boxes though. Which is kind of pathetic. Yeah, at least we got the crystal. Oh, this... You think this would be difficult, and then you look at it and go, ah, no, they, they made that way too easy. Hey, bonus platform, nice. I think the next ability we get is the Death Tornado Spin, and then the Fruit Zooka, and then the Running Shoes. The Running Shoes were added in Crash 3, but I think they added them in Crash 1 and 2 in the trilogy, because they added relics. There weren't relics in the original game. Oh yeah, this level's to get used to the Body Slam a little more, I guess. I think this is the one where it actually requires you to learn how to use the body slam a little more strategically than other levels. Yeah, it does. Even though you've had this since the first boss. So what it's saying is you actually want to go right to the edge and then it has a shock wave. Which is funny because once again you don't actually deal with those metal crates anyway until you have that ability, which is odd. But I'm pretty sure this is the level that you can't get 100% in. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't actually remember entirely if it is or not. Can you break that one for me? Thank you. I love how he purposely, like, headbutts it. Like, he goes out of his way to, like, actually physically charge it. Ugh. I almost ran into that lava pool. Man, that glowing, I thought it was going to be a lava pool. Oh, I got stunted there on the, uh... I touched the lava. And it's lava, by the way, not magma, because it's above ground. Anytime it's above ground, it's lava. If it's below ground, it's magma. Just for those who want a quick lesson on magma and lava. I think it's a really cool substance. And we actually have metals that can actually measure the temperature of them without actually melting, which is pretty cool, I guess. 
Run away from him. He's getting a little too close for comfort. Oh yeah, no, we can't 100% this level. Never mind. Don't know why I put so much time and effort into a level that we couldn't technically beat, but we did anyway. There we go. There's our crystal. Anyways, we can go to level 12, which is known as Deep Trouble. We can, however, get this red gem, and it's kind of annoying. But it's it's doable. Backtrack to find the red gem. Yeah. Yeah, there's only 83 boxes. I don't actually mind water levels in this game. I don't like them in Wrath of Cortex. I actually don't like a lot of the level design. Like, the levels themselves would have been fine if the game just technically played better. There is a Nitro Switch at the end of the level, though. So, don't worry. Actually, I don't think it's technically at the end of the level. There's two exits to this level, which is, I believe, one of the only crash levels in the entire game to have that. And you already lose that ability. Ooh. I almost got electrocuted, and we don't have a checkpoint yet. I think the checkpoint's down here. Whoa, that is not something I was expecting to see. I was expecting to see that guy. Not the, um... Not the mine. Oh, there's the checkpoint. Okay, good. Also, try and keep this Aku Aku as much as humanly possible because of the fact that it'll help you when doing the uh, backtracking section. Also, there's a lot of this, like, very, very tight maneuverability. Luckily, the backtracking section isn't here yet, so... Oh yeah, this is the section with the uh, puffer fish. Puffer fishies. Alright, let's see. Just Is it just sharks? Alright, we got another checkpoint. That's cool. Eh, I don't like puffer fish. I think they're cool fish, don't get me wrong. It's just I don't like them in this game because they're annoying. Any enemy in this game, despite being how cute and innocent it is, is still a pain in the butt. Now, where you actually need to backtrack is over here, but you can kind of see something wrong. There's a missing block. Now, what I recommend is kill all the enemies that are on your way here, because then it'll make it a thousand times more easy to backtrack. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to have a lot of difficulties. Also, this pufferfish is kind of in the way with this vortex thing here, and it's kind of annoying. There we go. Now we have this, which counts as an extra hit, so you can just use this to kind of clear out this next zone. And I do believe there are boxes in the uh, pathway that you have to backtrack to. So you won't be able to 100% the level unless you actually or get the regular gem unless you actually go for the red gem. Also, is it the A button to speed up? No, it's the it's the the uh, the B button for whatever reason. Okay, I'm gonna wait this sound out again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was way too close co for comfort, man. Okay, this fish has gotta die. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I have no idea how you're supposed to actually make that without um, getting sucked into the vortex with that thing. I really think the thing was supposed to break, and then um, you're supposed to go back the normal way. Actually, this backtracking won't be that bad. Luckily, you can do this if you're trying to do the time trial, because you can't run underwater. So if you're going to do the time trial, I really recommend spinning a lot. So, whoa, I almost touched that. That would have been... Not so good. Now we actually gotta go this way, and then to detonate this, you actually just boop it with your little bandicoot snoot, and it'll blow up, and then you can continue on. Which is super convenient. Now, I don't remember this section very well. Oh, okay, this is just pufferfish and nitro. Which is fu Oh, yeah, this part. Woohoo! Oh, come on, I take damage from that enemy of all enemies. Can I, like... There we go. I want to boop that instead. Look, look at all these boxes we got here. And they're all destroyed. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to bite me for whatever reason. Aha! And there's the regular gem. And the red gem. Ah, we, we got everything in this level. Nice. The Time Twister, 100% complete. 
and you have to sit through this every single time. You can skip his dance, but you can't skip him taking all these things out of his orifices. Next level we have is High Time, which I believe has a death platform, so another level we can technically 100%. So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. Alright, a special gem lies at the end of the death route. Yeah, so it technically dying doesn't count till your first checkpoint, and then you can't die. Otherwise, you can't get the platform. So, in a level like this, patience is a virtue. Which is always the case in real life, so... Also, a lot of these levels, like these ones, are kind of cheesed by the fact that you can double jump. Also, I was getting something off my controller, so that's why I kind of stopped there. It was also a perfect example of what I meant by, you know, double jump kind of cheesing them. This part can only be difficult because of, like, the camera angle, otherwise it's really nothing. Once again, slide into those enemies if you're trying to avoid it. Now's when the death platform actually triggers. Oh man, this is so much better than Wrath of Cortex where, like, climbing isn't actually much of an issue. There we go. Also, if you have the Death Tornado Spin, it makes these sections a lot easier too, because you can constantly spin while waiting for the enemy, so there's no way of them hitting you instead of having to time it perfectly. Now remember, once you get to the Death Route, you can actually die in the Death Route, but you can't... I think it doesn't matter. I believe to... Yeah, that's the final checkpoint. And then right at the top of those bouncy uh, uh, canopies is where the death route is. So, once again, dying in a bonus doesn't count as an actual death, so you can technically die here all you want. Alright, we only got 19 boxes here, so nothing crazy. There we go. And we're only going to be at... Tw oh, yeah, this part. What I do, or what I recommend, is not doing that, but that worked out flawlessly, is not to actually bounce on them. That's not what I meant to do, but that was the best run I've ever had with that bonus game, not gonna lie. That was freaking hilarious. Now don't pull a me and die on this stupid jump of all jumps. I don't know why, but this is where I always die, because the perspective is a little... Awkward. Oh, I got the Wunga Gao. Oh, never mind. The death platform is right here. <laughs> Silly me. Let's go. Alright. Oh, yeah. The music in the death routes always sounds so good. Now, I'm hoping there's no checkpoint here, because if there's no checkpoint here, then we can just die after we get the gem. So then we don't have to backtrack, but... Or redo the level, I mean. Because a lot of the death routes in this game, not all of them. Actually, death routes, I don't think ever have gems. Or, um, gems. Uh, boxes. I think the colored gem paths have the, uh... Have the gem, uh, boxes. I keep saying gems. Because that's what we're here for, is a gem. But that's not what I mean to say. There we go. Now, best bet for this, wait till you see your shadow. See that little dark circle from your shadow? Yeah, wait for that, otherwise you could potentially screw up. Oh yeah, this part. They're not even throwing Molotovs, they're like throwing, um, little flame canisters. There's the purple gem. Now, sadly, we're gonna lose the Aku Aku, but go and die. Trust me. Because you get the Aku Aku again. And we still have the purple gem. Also, what the heck was with that weird uh, interaction there with that with that carpet? That's what you guys are, is the carpets. I don't know why I'm having a hard time thinking of what you are. You're literally a carpet. The typical flying carpet from Aladdin and stuff, you know? Smash attack. All right. I think the next level is another racing level, which, in my opinion, I think is the worst one, despite only being the second one. Oh, I don't think we're gonna have time. No, we did not have time before this carpet would've came back. We're also only missing, uh, seven boxes. Never mind, not even seven anymore. I think they're all up here, right? Yeah, they're all right here. 
Now we're done. Just gotta make it to the end of the level. And I like when an episode goes according to plan. Unlike friggin' Enter the Dragonfly and Wrath of Cortex, that's for sure. And there we go! Another 100%. That's two color gems in one episode, by the way. That deserves a drink of Mango Monster. Sugar-free, for those wondering. Really refreshing. And absolutely delicious. Alright, next level is Road Crash. And like I said, I absolutely hate these levels. Accelerate on this one. You accelerate on the second of the uh, lights. That way you get a boost when you start. Which I'm pretty sure is one of the only ways you can actually win without having to struggle too much. This one also has the most boxes, I believe, out of any of these uh, racing levels. Also, there is a pathway, or like a portal, I guess, to the secret levels here. But we're gonna do that probably post-game. Yeah, see where that bird crashes into that alien sign? Yeah, you need to hit that sign. But it brings you to one of the worst bonus levels, if not the worst bonus level ever introduced in any Crash Bandicoot game. It is just ridiculously stupid. It's not even funny. Like, it is not fun, not enjoyable. It looks pretty. Because it's like a sunset, uh, one of those, like, water levels that Coco does. Which you think would be fun, because I actually thoroughly enjoy all of those levels, except for that one, which is just... I think I broke all those. It's hard to tell if I broke them all or not. Now, I don't recommend keeping the speed boost, because... The speed boost makes it darn near impossible to turn these corners. Which is a big issue. Also, finding all these boxes is annoying. The boxes are the annoying part. The race part itself actually is never that bad. Also, why did that send me sideways like that instead of just slowing me down? No, we missed. Okay. We gotta quit. Luckily, in this version of the game, it doesn't actually take long to load. Actually, I'm pretty sure the last level here is too, is the Cocoa Water level. No, it's Double Header. I kind of want to save that level, because that one's an easy level, so let's go back and do this one. I'll probably edit out a lot of the failed attempts of this game, because these episode, this game isn't very long and shouldn't take too many parts if we just edit out the failed attempts, because Crash Bandicoot, other than Crash 4, has never really been that long of a game. That's why this game is only 18 gigs as opposed to Spyro being 48, I think. I think Spyro's like 46 or 48. Why do I always hit that? I think they increased Crash's hitbox to be like massive. At least that's how it feels. I still feel like I missed some on that one jump where you have to land in the middle of all four of them. I really feel like I missed two of them there, at least. Okay, we're at 10. I want to see how many I'm at. So... Okay, we'll be at, uh, 11. So I'm gonna keep track. So we're at 12, 13, so we should be at, uh, 17? No, we missed one again! How do we keep missing that one? Unless I just mis miscalculated. Oh my god, this... The turning is, like, so precise in this game, it's ridiculous. Also, I... F Get out of my way, dude. Whoa! Aha! You thought you could stop me this time, coppers? Not today. Also, sometimes you... Like I said, you really don't want the speed boosts if you're trying to 100% the level. Also, we're missing two boxes, so it makes me wonder if I'm missing them up here... Or if I really did miss- uh, don't tell me I missed that one. I'll- I'll- I'll get- if I do manage to- oh, I did miss it too. Can we at least get 100%? Oh, we're not even gonna get 100%. Oh, that's a bummer, man. Alright, well, we'll try again. Uh, and then if I fail it, I'll just get the, uh, gem, and then, or the crystal, and then I'll get the gem on my own time. Also, I was holding down the accelerate button, and it didn't accelerate. I'm literally holding it down, as you guys can see. 
Though, it doesn't really seem to matter too much, because it doesn't seem like we really lost that much. Also, we're not running into the same car that we normally do, so maybe it's actually a benefit that we, uh... I hit that one, but this time I didn't hit that one. It's so confusing. Also, can you get out of the way? At least give me the gem or the boxes, man. Like, or the gem or the boxes? I keep saying gem. Crystal or the gem. Boxes too, but... You know, is there a way to, like, make this next part without taking the jump by chance? Because this level is just ridiculous. Wait! I think you can, so, yeah. I'll just do that on my own time. Um, we'll go do double header before we end the, end the episode, so let's go do double header. So I think I can cheese that one, so instead of wasting your guys' time anymore, we're just going to edit that out. Um, are you flailing cooked chickens at me? Man. 91 boxes here too, that's pretty good. I think the bonus game here is the diff most difficult part. I don't actually remember. For these guys, you can technically jump on their heads to knock them down. It's just a little bit risky. Also, you can kind of cheese this game by... And and that goes for, like, a lot of um, Crash in general, like, in this uh, version of the game. If there's, like, walkable platforms over here, they're actually... Or those walls, they're actually walkable platforms. So I thought that was kind of cool. Thank you. Just in case that one doesn't get destroyed, we'll do that. All right, we'll just wait till he swings this time and then jump over. No biggie. Like, biggie cheese again. Reference that nobody seems to have gotten in that video that I did it in, so hopefully somebody gets it this time. Alrighty, that was flawless too. Nice. Man, how many of these, like, blocks that can turn to metal are there going to be? It's ridiculous. Oh no, it's G. Willikers. It's G Dead Man now, that's for sure. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh no, the wizard is back! Well, at least now we can go to the bonus. And we're at 40 out of 91. I wonder how many boxes will be here. Hopefully, at least 20. I always like these castle ones because they're cool. Well, there's 30? This is most of the level's gem. Or gems, again? I keep saying it. Box is right here. This is like a third of the level in just the, the bonus game, man. That's crazy. And we're almost halfway done it already. Oh yeah, this one you don't want to detonate. Uh, you want to do that once you're over here. And then you want to come back. Because then it'll trigger these ones to be open, and otherwise you'll completely screw up. You'll have to ditch your Aku Aku, and yeah, it's not a good day. And once again, you can kind of just cheese it by doing that. And then we just wait to those, for those to detonate, and boom! Now we can just leave and get our 30 boxes. Nice. And we're at 70. We only need 21 more boxes. And we do know there's Nitro here. Meaning that there is a Nitro switch, which is pretty cool. Ah, yes. I love how you can literally avoid the entire little pits just by walking on the side of the level. Like, you can do that in, like, the bridge levels in Crash 1, making some of the hardest levels of all time a lot more easy. And I think that's hilarious. Really, only 10 more boxes, and some of them were Nitro? Wow, this level, man, this level, for being the final level of this world. Boom. Do me a solid, and let me 100% this level. Alrighty, so if you guys enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and I'll see you guys all next time when we take on Entropy after I go and do that, you know, silly racing level. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.